you're new to this channel, my name is Tyler Stallman and I run a photo and video production company with my wife Anya and we just got a Canon C200. And if you've watched my videos before, you might be wondering why I'm sitting in this exact same place that a few weeks ago I was telling you all about our a7 III kit and how we use the Sony to do our client work. We haven't given up on Sony, but this is much more exciting. This is, you know, this is a real cinema camera. The C200 shoots in RAW and it has a great AVC codec and it, it just, it looks great. Like the image quality is really, really beautiful. And today we're gonna go through and rig this up the way that I like. The C200 actually comes out of the box very usable. It's got everything you need and you, you don't need to add all these accessories but I'm not a huge fan of how Canon does it and I wanna kind of be able to customize it a little bit more. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, first off, disclaimer, all this stuff was sent to me by Small Rig. I didn't pay for this kit, but I have bought Small Rig stuff before for my Sony and I've been really happy with it. So I was very confident in their things working out for the C200. And if you're just watching this video because you're curious, like does Small Rig actually work? It's so much less expensive than its competitors. Is it still usable? Yes, I'll spoiler right now and say it's very well made, super functional. It does have a bunch of issues. It's not as good as the more expensive stuff, but that price jump to go to other brands like Wooden Camera, Bright Tangerine, Zacuto. I mean, there's a lot of them out there that are doing more high-end stuff. It's a huge expense. I mean, it's much, much more expensive and that can be worth it in a production environment. I mean, if I was running a full Hollywood studio here, we'd be spending that money, but uh, I wanted to start off a bit smaller. Also, the nice thing about this more affordable rigging gear is that you can spend much less money and get a sense of what you really want, like how you want it to work. Um, so I'm gonna go through a bunch of the individual parts here and then I'll, I'll let you know what I don't love. Um, there's probably a few pieces that I'll end up getting from other companies as well, but uh, let, let's go through it one by one. First, just really quickly, like the reasons I don't really like Canon's default setup is when you put it all together, it looks, I mean, I'm not gonna do it right now. Uh -oh. It looks a little something like this and you get this big T, oops, it's backwards. You get this big uh, T shape on the front of it. So the handle and the mic and all this stuff ends up being this pretty large package that, um, doesn't box up very well. Like it's a little bit hard to tear the whole camera down and fit it inside of a smaller bag. So I want this to be able to go in like any camera bag and tear down as small as possible. Also, if I wanna mount it on a gimbal, I wanna be able to just rip it apart. And uh, in here there are actually, like you can't, there's one that is a thumb screw and the other is a Allen key screw. So to take this handle off takes a few minutes and then the handle is huge and the monitor is still attached to it. So I want something where I can quickly pull off the handle and either stick it on a gimbal, throw it in my bag, whatever. So I'm gonna get rid of the default Canon handle, not using that. You can see that I've already got the mic mounted to the top of the camera. So this is directly on the camera right now. I don't think I'm gonna keep this. I wanna get it onto the top plate somehow, but um, this is just how it is for now. I'll, I'll walk you through that after. Sorry, the most important piece of the rig, this is the top plate. If I was only gonna order one thing, it would, it would basically be this, because then you can mount anything else that you need to. It makes your camera suddenly a lot more adaptable. Uh, I mean, you can stick a handle on it, you could mount this to an easy rig. There's a lot more things you can do, and those are missing from the default Canon handle. So there's top plate, everything about this I love. Then I've already mounted the NATO grip to the top and NATO is just a different a standard kind of adapter. So you can get a lot of different accessories for it that you can easily pull things on and off, especially handles. So uh, in this kit that uh, Small Rig sent me, this is the handle that I asked for, which is a, a NATO handle. And I am actually not gonna use it. Um, once I put it on this camera, I realized that it was way too slippery. My hands are super dry. So this would actually easily slip out of my hand. Like it, it, it realistically could happen. So I don't trust this with this camera. I might keep this with my Sony kit because um, it's much lighter and, and a little easier to hold on to. Instead, I'm gonna take the handle from my Sony kit and put it on there. I've really been liking this one. It's a uh, very adjustable. You can slide it back and forth to be in the exact right place and it comes with a built-in Allen key. And I just trust the grip. I know it's not going anywhere. Um, I also like that you can move the weight forward and backward so that depending on the weight of the lens, you can be sure that the, the balance is, is right. I mean, right now it's, it's back weighted, you can see, but once the lens comes on, it's, it's about where it needs to be. So either this one or there's also a rubber one, but I would look for some grip. <clears throat> so next let's get our monitor mounted. And this is the one piece from Small Rig that I'm probably the least happy with. It is to mount a little 15 millimeter 
rail to the front, which is a smart idea. This is like a good way to put the EVF on there, but in practice, I'm not happy with how it turns out. No matter how much I've tightened this screw, it's come loose eventually every time. So I, I don't really trust it. I'm gonna be on the lookout for a better EVF mount, but this is to see at least how this small rig one works. Okay, it's on there. You can see it sticks out kind of a weird amount. And the reason for it is because this is actually uh, a shoulder mount kit, which reminds me, I, I forgot to explain something important at the beginning of this. The reason that uh, some of these parts aren't exactly what I want is what Small Rig sent me was the C200 shoulder mount kit, which the kit isn't exactly how I would have liked to designed it. And I asked them like, can I just choose dozens of my own parts to make it exactly the way they want? Um, and, and that was an ideal for them. So they sent me the kit. So th this is specifically a review of the C200 small rig kit. But I would recommend if you're doing the C200 thing, that, like build the kit that you need. Uh, I wouldn't order what they pre-make, like decide what's really useful for you. So yeah, throughout I'll be talking about things that I would change. But part of the reason this comes out so far and comes down is because like, eventually, you know, this, this is gonna go up on your shoulder and you want to get this uh, monitor out in front of your face. So that's, that's part of the reason that it, it's a little weird for this handheld position, but it makes more sense up on your shoulder. And let's keep building this out for a shoulder. This is a, another part, this is my other favorite piece. It's the base mount that is gonna connect into the rails mount. And uh, I love that it's Arca Swiss. Like this is, this is fantastic. I really like what Small Rig did with this one. Now let's put that plate to use. So this could go on any Arca Swiss mount and I try to have Arca Swiss mounts on like everything I've got on my tripods, my monopods, all that. Uh, now this is a rails kit, which uh, snaps on. I'm gonna do it this way. And so eventually we're gonna mount our rails, which will mount everything else to it uh, like so. But uh, for now, I'm gonna keep it off. So let's put together the shoulder piece on its own. By the way, I don't actually know what this screw is for. There's obviously two rails here for what look like a variation of Arca Swiss. What is this mount? I don't know this mount. So once again, we can see Small Rig making some of the right choices here. They used these Ari Rosette mounts to attach the handles, which I love. Like this is a great mount, just like the Arca Swiss plate we were talking about. These are all the easiest, best ways to get things on and off of a camera. So this is the shoulder mount kit. Uh, the things I think they should have done differently with their C200 kit is that these should be the extendable arms that uh, you could mount this grip onto it from the C200. So like this should be here so that you can press the record button as you're going. And they also have longer arms that extend. So that's what I would choose. Um, I'm gonna see how often I end up using the shoulder mount kit before I order those because I, I actually don't shoot that way too often. All right, let's pop on a lens. This is balanced properly. <laughs> And now we can enjoy the beauty of an Arca Swiss mount. And there we go, that's it. That's their shoulder mount kit. So this feels really, this feels legit. Like this is a really nice setup. Um, I'm super happy with most things about it. This handle should really be here. And since it is also a rosette mount, you can do that. Um, I, you just kind of need an extension, which I don't have. But the, the bigger issue to me is that this weight is in the wrong spot. The camera is too far forward. It should be on your shoulder so it's not falling forward all the time. So the way that that would usually happen with the cinema cameras back here, there'd be a battery mount plate as well, which you can also buy that um, you'd stick like a V-lock that would counterweight a lot of it. I don't have those batteries. I don't feel like I really need them, but just for fun, I have a counterweight. Let's add that. And there we go. Now we have an unnecessarily heavy rig, but it is at least well balanced. So now it feels like it's in the right place. Another thing I would add, if I'm actually, if I had this much weight on it, you can get a, cage so uh, there is a piece that will connect you can connect the top and bottom plate so that the weight is distributed there and the metal is taking it on instead of the camera body uh, i wouldn't want to pick up this much weight by the camera handle right now because all the strain is going through the body but this does feel very stable and ready to shoot oh i forgot to add a mic let's do that this is my new favorite little shotgun mic it's the dd s mic 2 similar to all the small rig stuff it performs way beyond its price point so super affordable really high quality and I really should have a shorter XLR cable, but I've just wrapped this one up. And there we go, we're ready to go and uh, shoot the news. I mean, just kidding, but this would be great for uh, event work or, or anything really.
I tried to cram a lot of details into that video, but if it's not enough and you still want to know more about the C200 or shooting cinematic video or photography or whatever it is you do, go to stallmanpodcast.com. That's where we have way more in-depth conversations with real professionals that are shooting stuff at way higher levels than I am. I was talking about Apple gear, photography, everything. Whatever it is you're into, we probably have an episode about it. But thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.